some of my biggest videos on YouTube have been with Storm and dog training videos and they just kind of have taken off and so I got Storm a couple of gifts because one because of that and then we're gonna make a video this is gonna be about um, best ways to keep your dog at home when you work long hours so I work two 10-hour shifts Thursday and Friday during the day and then during the weekend I work three 12-hour shifts overnight and she's alone during that whole time. And so I don't keep her in a cage and I also don't want her on my new furniture, you know, with the carpet and everything, with the potential chance to go to the bathroom in the house if she has to, because that's a long time. But the new setup that we have, I'm gonna show you guys when I get home, it's been working out so good and she has been doing phenomenal. She only went to the bathroom once and she didn't even do it on the, she went on the pee pads that I have and I'll show you when I get home. I just left the pet store. I have to get some grub in me because I just left the gym before that. And uh, so I'm hungry. But um, so I got I got her a couple of gifts because she's been doing so good. And I got her, she loves to chase these freaking rabbits around here. And, and so I got her, I got her a rabbit rope toy. And I can't wait to see the look on her face when she sees this thing. And then I also got her a new Kong toy. Uh, she loves Kong, the Kong ball. It's that, the, and between that and the rope, I mean, she's a happy dog, and, and so a Kong ball. And then a lot of you guys ask me what kind of food I feed her, and this is what I feed her. This is Maverick, and this is the backcountry. Uh, it's got the uh, freeze-dried raw in there, and this is a uh, game bird recipe, so it's got turkey, duck, and quail. And it's really, really good food. It's pretty expensive. Um, like, I used to feed her Verus, but you can't get it out here in Iowa. I mean, I could, but it comes in, you know. It, I just, I switched her to this, and I, I like it. And her coat looks really good. Um, her, her stool has been looking good. So, she's overall a healthy dog. But let's get to the uh, house, and I'll show you guys the setup that I have to how to keep your dog in an apartment when you work long hours and um, I have a whole setup now. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to get Storm something special. She's been doing so good, so we're home now. And I got her a little rabbit. Here's your rabbit, puppy. Yeah. You want it? Good girl, mama. <laughs> so, if you guys are living in apartments with your dogs, and you know, this place is pretty small. A lot bigger than my last one. We've both been going through a lot. She's been, I don't think she, that apartment was really small. And as you can see, we just, we could go right out back. So if you have something like this, um, what you could do first to make it easy for you to let them out is I just got this uh, anchor thing. And she just hooks up to this guy, hook it to her chain and She's free to go, just, you know, as far as this anchor will let her. Now, I gotta put this in a little bit better because look, she's already starting to get it out of the ground. If, um, she will rip that thing right out of the ground. It's not even a problem for her. So, that makes it easier. Now, so, when I'm at work for a long period of time, what I've done to eliminate the dog cage is limit her to the kitchen you now because i got a brand new couch this is brand new carpet i got a brand new bedroom set and i don't want her you know getting bored and anxious and just starting ripping things up which is why i bought her something she can tear up like tear that up mama that's for you to tear up this new con boss for her her to tear up you know make sure you're getting your dog new toys make sure you keep up with that stuff I and mean, she really deserves some new things I also don't want her tearing up her new bed. So I got this thing, and you can get this, and limit your dog to your kitchen area. And, you know, that's basically what I do. I, I just shut this, and that's her area, her pen, when I'm at work. And it's been working out really good. Now, I put down... I was always totally against these things, but because I don't have anyone out here with me to help me uh, and it was much easier when I lived in Philadelphia 
to ask a neighbor to let her out or just leave work. And I, I work super close, but I'm not allowed to leave the building. So it's been really hard to just be me and her out here with, you don't have any family, you don't have any friends, nothing. So you gotta kinda figure it out, right? So I was totally against these pee pad things, but I got these, so I put one down and uh, I put it right here. I'm not gonna open it all, but I basically put it there and uh, she's went on the bathroom on it one time. And uh, out of like probably five or six days, I've left her for 10 to 12 hours. And that was it, one single time. And um, that's it. So it, we're, it's been working out really great. I keep the dog Furbo camera right here and I'm able to see her, what she's doing. If, if this alerts me that she's barking, uh, I'll take a look and see what's going on. Usually it's probably somebody just, you know, shutting their door or something. One of the neighbors, so usually not a big deal. And, um, but I can see what she's doing if she got out, which in which case I'd be screwed because I can't leave. I'm sure if it was a real emergency, I'd be able to, but you know, my biggest fear is her getting anxious and ripping up my new couch cushions or pooping or peeing on the carpet, which she has not done yet at all. And uh, I was having a lot of problems with her at the other apartment that I just moved out of with her peeing on the floor constantly. And it was, I think she just didn't like it there. It, she wasn't getting out enough. And then once everything happened where I ended up by myself there, it was even really, really hard. Like I was, it was tough guys. So this is a really good way to do it. And I'm really happy with it. And I got her, her bed, her favorite, her favorite blanket, and she loves this blanket. Like the dog will not go anywhere without this thing. And uh, you know, she's already got this a little bit, but that's her, her new bed and she just hangs out in here and she has enough room to stretch her legs and walk around if she wants to. She mainly just sleeps. I keep an eye on her every couple hours. I check her every hour. And, she, and the other important thing is too, when the dog's not in the cage or when, it, when your dog's in the cage cramped up in there, they'll get, joint and bone issues and stuff and then they, they you, you don't have their food or water in there so you know they don't have access to that and dogs need to hydrate and stay hydrated to stay healthy look at her you're my best friend in the whole world dude what would i do without you what would i do without you mama want to play tug of war with the rabbit that's why we got it i'm not eating that thing dude it's already gross look at her You love it? Do you love your rabbit? Yeah. Give me it. It's my rabbit. <laughs> so, that is, uh, and it looks, it doesn't look ugly. I mean, it kind of looks okay. I mean, I mean, it would look better if, uh, there wasn't this thing here, but the wooden ones were a bit expensive, so you can get these and put it across your kitchen or any area. You just want to keep your dog limited to areas. And this goes back to puppy training. Like I do this with puppy training. You do the same thing, limit them access to the whole house, not to overwhelm them with the entire house. So this is a really good thing to do. Uh, I like it, I'm happy with it. And uh, so that's what we're doing. And then when I get home, she obviously could do whatever the heck she wants. A lot of times I'll just do this. Come here, throw it out. <laughs> so a lot of times I'll just let her out there, take her toy out there. She's not gonna be able to go far. You know, she went right behind the damn stone. And, um, you know, I'll sit right here. I'll either be playing PlayStation or a video game or watching a movie if that's what I'm doing. We're playing the guitar. We're, you know, editing videos. But look, she could just go right to the bathroom. She'd go into the bathroom right there. And so it makes it super easy. If you live on the bottom, try to get a bottom floor. It just makes it so much freaking easier. And of course, if I was like out front or something, it probably wouldn't be this easy. But obviously, I'm in the back of the apartment complex, very private, which I love. And, you know, nobody really comes out here. It's windy, it's gonna storm. So she could just hang out. It's really windy. Uh, and so, yeah, I just, you know, I'll chill out, kick it, kick it back. And my dog will be able to just hang out outside. And, you know, life has been good. It's been good here for us. We like it. I know she likes it way better. Look at her. Oh, my dog. What are you doing, babies? 
So she'll rip that thing out of the ground. So you got to keep an eye on them and get it in a better spot. I don't want to keep it too far out there. Oh, she's going to drop a deuce. So I'm going to have to pick that up. I can tell. I, um, but yeah, so that's all uh, my tips for you guys. If you're at a park, you live in an apartment, you know, you're single, uh, worried about, you know, your dog home all the time. This is what we do and uh it works so check that out and like share subscribe you know that always helps the channel hopefully this video gets three four five six hundred thousand views like the other dog videos and uh the only way that happens usually is your comments and your shares and your likes and your and you know react um interaction with the content so stormy easy baby you can't go too far with that all so yeah, she must have forgot your... <laughs> Mama! She's going crazy, she's so hyped. Look at her. I think that new food that I gave her, gave her she's got her all kinds of hype. Let's get her toy. She don't want to hang out outside. But, <clears throat> here's your rabbit, bud. Yeah! Here it is, get it. <laughs> So, yeah, but usually she just, she'll just hang out and lay in the grass and chill out, you know, if she doesn't want to hang out with me. What you doing, bird? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, bird? Give me that. <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, like, share, subscribe. Patreon link will be below. All that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Peace.